This Marquee Dragon video is sponsored by Shattered Crystal, game codes and items. Hello, I'm Marquee Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life. And this is part of a road trip series. And it's a series from Nicholas Patterson. Nicholas is a, a PhD candidate at Deakin University in Australia. And he's uh, studying virtual property theft. Behind me is Timberline Lodge. And this is a national monument, and it's in the Mount Hood National Forest. And uh, as you can see, it's snowing. So, you can also ski up here if you couldn't get that from all the snow in the background. So this is part six. And Nicholas asks, did the virtual world uh, you interacted in uh, have any security measures or in place to assist with virtual crimes such as pr virtual property theft? Uh, did you use them and were they effective or ineffective? Well, let me say that the first virtual world that I dealt with was uh, Ultima Online. And in Ultima Online, there, it was the Wild West. There was nothing. They didn't even know, I mean, they had thief skill in the game, but they had no clue that people were actually going to um, be stealing virtual property for money. Um, because they didn't even know at the beginning that virtual property was uh, something that was worth money. Um, that was truly a foreign concept to them. And so <clears throat> the, uh, they, didn't, they didn't have anything in place at first. Now, they did do something a little bit later, and that was to, um, one, they made it a violation of the terms of service, and so they would actually ban people if they felt like it for uh, trading in virtual currency. Uh, or selling items, but then they also um, they put into place an official account transfer system, and this is something that I've really wished that like uh, World of Warcraft would do uh, and many other games. Basically, you would submit a form to EA, and you'd pay twenty-five dollars, and then they would officiate the transfer going over to. Um, the other player that you wanted to give the account to or sell the account to or whatnot. And so we did a lot of official uh, account transfers that way. There was another way that they would do it, which is if you put game time onto the account, and let's say 30 days, after 30 days had passed, you could use that game time to prove that you owned the account. And um, that was another way of, uh, you know, like password recovery type stuff. Now, Blizzard has taken a much different tack to this. They are hardcore. They do not want people to transfer accounts. They uh, don't want it, them to do anything. In fact, they added the uh, key fob to it to where you can actually add, uh, you know, it adds a four digit code um, at the, as part of the password process to show that you are the owner of the account and the, you're the one who has access to it. Um, but beyond that, uh, most of most of the game companies have no clue what to do about the property theft other than to say that it's not allowed <laughs> and no kidding it's not allowed so um, <clears throat> you know there's not many measures that many of them have put in place that have done a really effective job other than you know things like World of Warcraft doing bind on equip and uh, really forcing that a lot uh, it makes it so that the items aren't tradable, so the you know, so that the problem can't happen in the first place, which, you know, that is one way. That's a preventative measure of it. Um, but when it does happen, it doesn't. Uh, you know, what are you going to do about it? So um, now another thing that Blizzard does, which I really have to give them credit for, is when someone's account gets hacked, they do react to that quite well. Uh, they will actually replace everything that you lost on the account. And um, for that, I really have to give them kudos because in Ultima Online, the way it was was, sorry, we can't help it that you lost your stuff. Uh, sorry that happened. Enjoy the game. And that was really disheartening for even me when I one time got my account hacked and uh, lost everything on the account. In fact, they res killed all my characters, which back in those days, if you died and then you chose to resurrect right away, instead of going and finding your body, you took a penalty in your skills. And uh, that, was, that was a big deal. 
So uh, they would do that five or six times to your characters and all of a sudden all of your skills that were up to 100, or well, Grandmaster, were now at like 50. And uh, that really sucked. So anyway, hope that answers your question, Nicholas, and uh, we'll see where we end up next. Marky Dragon, take care.